everyone welcome back to another counter side video so i'm actually very excited to share with you guys what i've learned for the past three days um but before that we'll get to something that i discovered today let's do some recruitment um with a new account this is actually a, just a dummy account that i created um we'll try to um get through the motions of the 30 re-rolls and also all of the re-rolls or sorry all of the all of the recruitments later after the re-roll okay so to start off we're going to again another tip um a tip that i mentioned uh, in yesterday's video again go for kyle kyle is actually one of the essentials if you're a beginner um, I think the next would be Esterosa based on the play of the game, based on the flow. Okay, so let's start with the reroll. Um, let's start with the first batch of reroll. Okay, so. I think this is. She is actually good as well if you want to keep her in your starting account as you start out but again the preference would be kyle wong let's skip this if you're not satisfied with your pick you could actually always check the other candidates that are coming so with this pull this is actually really good because you have here um um her uh chifuyu her, her, her name is pretty much long. And you have Ryan Ferrier, which actually is a good defense character or a good tank that you can bring in your progression in the game. So with this pick already, I'm actually happy. But let's look for Kyle here. If I were, you know, going to, you know, be carrying this account, I would save this. But I'd, I'd like to look for Kyle and uh, more or less have him in the next few pulls. So... Um, Elizabeth Pendragon is also good. So, where is Kyle? Let's speed this up. Okay, so here's Kyle. Kyle Wong. So, for Kyle Wong, he is the topmost um, character that you would want to summon. So, more or less, you just have to check whether the other uh, characters you're happy with and if you're happy let's say for example i'm happy with this one you just confirm your recruitment so that's it okay then we will proceed to this one okay so this i was excited this morning because i was able to create another account for a secondary account probably um that i'll be developing after my main account um, uh, I'll show you that in the future, but with now with this, I discovered that even if you didn't start on the, uh, what was it? The 18th, May 18th, you still get those free pulls. So if you can see, it's already been three days and you have 30 pulls. So my point is you can still avail of the free pulls, even if. You did start on the first day so let's say for example so you start two days from now and this would be 50 so but this is only good for a max of 23 days so more or less you do the the timer that i have left here is 20 so please make sure that you log into the game between those 23 days to take advantage of the free recruit 10 times um for this banner for this banner alone so this is actually a special recruitment banner for new CEOs. Let's so let's go through this recruitment just to make sure that this is actually a legit um, three pulls because three days has already lapsed for counter side. So we have one, and it's an SSR. Who could this be? Oh, Hayami Sanae. So I'm actually looking for her in my main account. I don't have her yet. Let's try the other two pulls and see if we can get other SSR. This this is crazy. So you, I have here Esterosa, which is actually a good pull already. And the last, don't tell me this is an SSR. It's, a, it's an SSR with an SR. 
And I have here... What did I get? Okay, to my shock, I already got Shinja. So, basically, um, I don't have to get her free copy later. But I will teach you guys on how to get a free copy just in case you want Shinja in your roster as well. Okay, so this is actually funny. So, in three pulls, I got, what, three SSRs? That's ridiculous. So, more or less, um, again, I'll go back to the recruit menu so this is actually again for the remaining um this is the remaining 20 days so take advantage of this play counter side right now and more or less you'll be getting um ridiculous rolls I'm, I'm 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 not guaranteeing ridiculous rolls but again it happened to me okay so um as a um, a, a reward for the pre-registration we actually get to have these rewards so for those who didn't pre-register they also get these rewards again see so more or less here is another um recruitment ticket so 10 so we'll get all of this or i'll just get this one and uh, this girl uh, Sy Sylvia Lena Cooper is also good. She can be used already in your account as a sniper. She has a, a tremendous, um, you know, skills, and she is actually very useful in your account already. More or less, um, new users have a lot of things to look forward to. One of them is actually here: the new user missions. These are additional recruitment tickets and these only last for seven days and only available to perform for 30 days after joining. So you can actually take advantage of this. And the final you know, reward for completion is actually another selection ticket for SSRs. Okay, so you have a selection there. For those who you were you have you have missed or who you want to go to to get, so they're there. So Gayun is there. Um, Shaolin, the, the sniper, if you want to get her, she's there. So if if it's based on my account, I'd get those two because I didn't summer for them. Or Elizabeth Pandragon is also good. So again, the rewards for uh, new user missions are very very good. So again additional rewards for you to do or for you to get so more or less more or less these are the things that you should look forward to um if you can see here there are also login bonuses or lo login rewards that you will receive uh, when you log in from this period so this is 20 to this is june 19 until june 19 so a month from now can still claim these but hurry up because you might not want to miss um these rewards and these as well counter side official launch event punch in so there are a lot of rewards here that you can use especially this one employment contracts i won't elaborate on the rewards but these are very big rewards so, see so you have their contracts as well for someone also you have missions so more or less for your missions you have rewards for your missions this will be available even if you play you know uh on a later date but again these rewards are very good to aid you as you progress as you start your missions as you start to build your teams that is it for this account um i just wanted to show you all the new um benefits or prizes or rewards that you will be getting if you play counter side now i'll try to switch over to my main account for other new information okay so we're he we're here now in my main account um been playing since launch so more or less it's been three days of playing um i've devoted a lot of um you know a lot of time knowing the game so that i could you know give you guys an easier time playing it um first and foremost there is a coupon code so when you want to enter a coupon code you have to go to your managed account enter coupon code 
you have to type it. <laughs> it's SSVIP6666. So that is the coupon code, guys. So try to claim this and we'll see what happens. So again, rewards, um, who, I won't say no to rewards or to any type of reward because it's free. So more or less, that is the coupon code. I'll be putting a link. Sorry, I'll be putting that uh, coupon code in the description below. So you can check it out later if you wish to enter that coupon code. So also, just wanted to share with you guys some tips in terms of the shop. Um, not, not all in the shop is bad. Um, there are a couple of deals here that you might think that you want to get because, um, they're a good deal. But again, I'll discuss this first, the, the one that I promised you. So get Shinja. So purchase all first time buyers. So purchase count is only one. So for you to get her, this is actually free. So just buy one um any any type of any type of uh, what they call this any type of purchase um for currency let's say if this is in dollars you buy in dollars then any for uh first time buyers or first time buys you get her automatically it's, it was fortunate that i was able to get her earlier from a summon so more or less, I have two copies of her, sorry, from the previous account. But for this account, I got her here and I was able to summon her as well. But if you want to get her, you can actually get her. Then the lowest that you can actually spend in this game, in which I have checked, is actually $1 or 0 0.99 US dollars. So that's the, that's the lowest. If you really want to get her, you just spend that in the philippines that's around 48 pesos or 49 pesos so more or less you guys can spend that uh on this game uh i'm that it, it, it's a very small investment guys and mark my word she is actually worth it if you have two copies she can put you can put her in two teams which is actually very good so what i actually bought um bought in this uh what they call this in this uh shop is this one so this one the completion package is actually worth your you know worth uh worth it so this is basically um i think this is ten dollar uh, sorry this is uh yeah ten dollars so ten dollars i purchased this so more or less You'll be getting also a selection ticket in which you could select the following as well so for those who haven't actually this unit is good um and more or less if you guys want these heroes or you want to summon these heroes I actually got her in this ticket so more or less i'm happy with buying this product so more or less that is my spend for this account. I'm not sure if we're going to spend any more. It was just to try it out and more or less give myself a a boost in terms of um, uh, what they call this boost in terms of progression in the game. But again, there are a lot of uh, good packages here like this one. Um, more or less. Um, these are already are also cool the skins so if you haven't seen this in the shop there are skins here in which you can use quartz so you can actually get this through quartz um, if you like to change the, the the outfit of your characters so more or less also please take a look at um, more or less i'll leave it up to you in terms of if you want to spend a single you know peso or dollar in this game but in terms of the shop list, there are a lot of items here that I think you should watch out every every time that they're out. So this is actually your basic training data. Uh, this is actually good um, when you progress your hero lev uh, level. This is, I think, for skills. And here is your employment contract. So these are things that uh, you should watch out. This currency is, is earned in PvP, the gauntlet. So again, participation earns you these points. 
So next on the shop list would be your exchange center. So this again is basic training data, which is good. I would highly suggest that you spend for this. This is actually a worth investment to improve your, your characters. And that's it. So more or less again, um, the hardest currencies to, to come by is uh, to start with is going to be your credit. So credit, again, you could get these in your mainstream, free contract and simulations. So they are part of operations which you can actually mine credit. Credit is actually very, very important in terms of leveling up your heroes because um, credit is being paid to your heroes like more like a contract. You pay them a wage or a or a salary. Um, so basically, this is important in leveling up your um, your your characters. Next would be your quartz. Again, quartz is actually um, very, I say rare. These are being used as well in recruitment, but I would not suggest that you use it there. Um, instead, I would suggest that you use it here in the world map. These are one of the things that you should uh, also make sure that you do. You create a branch using using quartz because actually these branches, you know, um, give you passively, you know, give you passive amounts of resources. So again, you have to. It's it, it's good that you unlock these. So you have here basic training data as well. Next is your Eternium. Eternium is actually um, your what do you call this? your currency in terms of uh, playing the game um here in operation so more or less you will be using eternium for these content mainstream up to free contract free contract i would say is the best place wherein you could mine your gear so i would highly you know highly suggest that you invest in unlocking your mainstream because it's only when you sorry unlocking free contract it's only when you play mainstream that you can unlock your free contract so mine your gear here so get gear for your heroes or for your characters um also we have here so in your supply operation so you have this one Th these are actually let's go back these are also unlocked in terms of your mainstream so for this one i haven't unlocked this but this unlocks with your mainstream as well um for your let's look at right suppression so more or less you have to unlock up to 1-2 because again you need to farm your basic training data to upgrade the skills of your heroes so more or less what do we have here so skill training then this one is um, your investigation activities this actually fuels your limit break your limit break is actually stars um, when you upgrade um, a here a character or a hero um, then he get, he or she gains stars so and also improves the stats or uh, stats for that hero as well so you have to open this up up to here or you go further if you could open it up to here probably this gives you more um, um in terms of quantity more in quantity than this one the next would be this one is actually for shards of heroes or characters and this one is for currency regarding crafting weapons so if you don't want to mine or to look for gear you can actually craft gear using this mold this is actually a tier 2 mold so you actually use this as currency as well okay then also don't forget simulation also it has two entries per day so these give you rewards as well so you can see here rewards 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 i won't you know go further in terms of these anymore um just check them out for rewards that you can get Th these are two just two entries you can actually buy entries in the shop as well okay then lastly would be your mainstream so mainstream is 
your main story, unlock this, unlock everything. So more or less, that is the way you're going to grind it out in your first few days. Okay, so let's have a quick, um, quick uh, look at my progression so far. So I only spent actually that one, that one purchase, and actually I got more or less a lot already because I used um, recruit tickets. Um, I think I used quartz uh, for one pull, and this is this is what I got so far. So. A lot of SSRs already. Um, I got her in the banner. Young Harim, I got her in the banner. Uh, Jia, Shinja, Shinja, actually, again, I got from the free one from the shop. But I was also able to pull another copy of her, which is here. Esther Rosa is actually in one of the pulls for, I don't know where, but I pulled her in, in, in the banner as well. So for her for the ticket and Kyle Wong I actually got two copies um, right off the bat when I started this account so I was able to summon a second copy uh, I think after the the 30 rerolls and I have Titan I forgot where I got him and this little girl so on you of course Shaolin actually to my surprise I got her from here um i actually was able to this actually this actually has a free recruit as well um every day so i got her from here from a single pull so very lucky for this account i'm actually happy with my progression so so more or less guys that is it i don't want to take much of your time um but this is another set of tips for you guys out there who want to start the game this is a very good game in terms of long term, I see this game going a bit, you know, in the right direction as a start. That's just my opinion. So to start to start, it's it has been a good start. Um, there are actually been comments that the game is really confusing to play because there are a lot of things going on. I agree with you, but again, give it time give it around three days five days just play the game get to know give it a lot of patience because again this game is going to explode in the next few months anyway guys thank you always for stopping by this video okay for those who haven't subscribed yet around 79 percent haven't subscribed so please um subscribe and this helps my channel a lot okay and I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. So thank you very much, guys, for the support, for the love, and the encouragement that I get from the community. Um, I will definitely be covering both Counterside and Exos Heroes moving forward because I love these two games. Anyway, stay safe, take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.